Hi guys, welcome to Office Blokes React. I'm Office Bloke Dave. I'm Office Bloke Mike. I'm Office Bloke Daz. Back to with the Office Blokes, aren't we? We are. Yeah. It is true. Uh, All of us, three of us, live, live, live and direct from live the Office direct. Blokes Arena. It's true. <laughs> yeah. It's absolutely true. Yeah, nice and, place. Uh, I mean, it'd be great to get a bit of symmetry going on, so we'd have a plaque here as well as over there. So if everyone heads over to Office Blokes Game, <coughs> we only need half of our subscribers from here to go over there as well, and then we'll get yeah. another one of them. Yeah. No, and yeah. then my symmetry OCD will be assuaged. Let's do it. So there you go. Yeah. All right, just, then. We can not? just put another one up that looks the same. Could do, yeah, I suppose. It's a ploy. Oh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, Big J. Silly, silly me. <laughs> uh, I, this is a guy who I've seen yeah. loads, but I've not watched his stand up. Yeah. He just, he seems to be on podcast with mm. a lot of people. And I don't know if he's been on TV <clears throat> as well. I feel like he has in like a. Yeah, I can't place him myself by the look of him or, or his name. What is it? J. Big Oakson. J. Okerson. Okerson, right. There was, I was in a comedy club last night and uh, they had a big black Nigerian guy on there who were looking at him thinking, where have I seen you before, man? And when he finished, he came over. He went, "How's it going, man?" <laughs> I'm like, and I went, "Where have I seen you before?" And my missus texts and she says, "He's been on like, uh, have I got news for you?" Oh, really? Uh, yeah. Right. yeah, proper funny guy. Yeah, yeah, really oh. funny, but big, big guy. Yeah, yeah. All oh, right. So where's he know you Gosh. from? Don't know. Don't know. Didn't ask him. Didn't, I just think I was. Fair enough. <laughs> Junk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Some second bottle of wine. Yeah. yeah. Exactly, yeah. There was no big black Nigerian guy talking to you, was there? In fact, he whispered in my ear, licking the back of my neck. <laughs> Again. Nice. Nice. Anyway, Big J Okerson, guilt. It's just the first one that came up when we typed in Big J Okerson. Go so, uh, Got to start somewhere. Yeah, let's go for it. Yeah. Is this your chick? You wish though, right, dude? <laughs> How hot is that chick with your nervous energy? It's never gonna happen. <laughs> I'd like to foster love, but that just looks uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know, dude, try to make a move. You know her, right? Yeah. She's your buddy. Yeah. That sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you. I don't know. How old are you, sweetie? 18, that's, you're dumb. 18. <laughs> I'm like, what do you mean this guy's your friend? This guy's creepily hanging out, waiting for you to make a 19-year-old dumb decision. <laughs> <laughs> you think he's your friend. You believe that in your heart of hearts, that he's your friend. Yes. <laughs> so if you were like, hey, we should totally fuck, he'd be like, no way, bud. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about, bro skiff? <laughs> I don't even look at it like that. Home slice? <laughs> He'd say yes. He would say all of those things. Yeah, but he's like, that's, is that a friend, honestly? If he would fuck? <laughs> yeah, you have no male friends. Exactly right. You said it. <laughs> <laughs> I have young girls argue that all the time. A lot of guy-girl roommates in this city. Not fucking, just living together as friend roommates. That's insanity to me. <laughs> that is asinine. To live with a girl you're not fucking. Fellas, if you do that, and I mean this, harsh sentence here, but hear me out. <laughs> Fellas, if you live with a girl you're not fucking, you have no respect for women. <laughs> <laughs> you have no respect for them. You don't know what you're capable of. Men, we're garbage. And you gotta know what you're capable of. Listen, when men have our, when our balls are full, <laughs> this is a hackneyed subject at this point, but it's just the facts of life. <laughs> when our balls are full, we are a different human being than when our balls are empty. Does that make sense at all? <laughs> so the girl you live with has to be a girl you're fucking or else you're gonna, weird stuff's gonna happen. When our balls get full, we're not the same person as when they're empty. When our balls are empty, that's when we're the person that our parents made. <laughs> when my balls are empty is when I'm doing everything good in life. I pay my bills, I shoot hoops, <laughs> I say hi to friends, I high five a lot of people. When your balls are full, that's why guys like jerk off so much. You just gotta like change that state of mind and get back into the world functioning empty balled again. <laughs> And when our balls are full, we'll do fucked up shit and to live with a girl who's just your friend, like you're gonna fuck that friendship up. I know you will, I would. If I had a girl roommate who I wasn't fucking, two seconds, I'd ruin that. First time she's like, 
Hey, I'm going to my parents' house for the weekend. 20 minutes after she leaves, I'm going to go smell all of her panties. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Just leave that there, shall we? <laughs> it looks like he would as well. Yeah. <laughs> looks like he has. That's like the American office bloke, Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Only slimmer. Yeah. Uh, but the Weight yeah, Watchers. Yeah. Uh, good so far. Though. Yeah, funny guy. Like yeah, this guy. Yeah, yeah do like, like style. It. The camera keeps kind of just clocking those two that he was roasting yeah. at the beginning there, yeah. and she looks a lot. She looks awkward now. Mm. She's she's yeah. just sat there like yeah, fidgeting. Oh, and man, like, that conversation yeah. on the way home is going to be awkward. Yeah, just it? Yeah. It, yeah. yeah, no, I see you as a friend. Yeah. Maybe she's sort of eighteen. <laughs> I mean, going to some, something like this, but maybe like the first time she's been to something like this live, and it's Possibly. maybe a bit of a new type of thing. So maybe something you won't re- really expect. Did you see the guy though? I mean, she'll bring home a fella to you know wherever they're living, and it'll be <clears> jacked. It'll be some absolute beast, and that little sort hey, of guy. Yeah. Like, what about me? Uh, <laughs> Getting you know. <laughs> Someone for everyone, Dave. Platonic friend. All for panties. Then, <laughs> then I'm gonna rub her vibrators on my face while <laughs> I jerk off with a fist wrapped in her dirty underwear. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's horrible. And don't even waste your time judging me on that. For a few reasons. One, I've never done that. I'm just telling you that's what I would do. And two, there's no reason to judge it because I would judge myself. Do you get it? That's the whole full balls, empty balls thing. The juxtaposition, right? As soon as I was done jerking off in her room, I'd be like, oh my God, what the fuck have I just done? <laughs> <laughs> this is my friend's end table. What am I doing? <laughs> my buddy. <laughs> she trusted me and I ruined it. <laughs> and I would clean up meticulous. And I would try to stack the dildos back the way I found them. I'm like, oh my god, I should have took a picture. <laughs> <laughs> I would turn off the light switch with a tissue. And I would step out on my own footprints. And I would be appalled at myself. <laughs> judging myself for you. I'm like, how can you do that to your friend? She trusted you around her stuff and she's gone. And you ruined it, man. You spoiled the sanctity of your friendship. Well, you know what? She's gone the rest of the weekend. No big deal. I cleaned up. It's over. Never again. Lesson learned. And 30 minutes later, I'll be right back in that room rubbing go-go <laughs> Just shaking my head in the mirror like, do I know me or do I know me? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll clean up meticulous after that time and I'll leave the room again. And every time I'll leave that room believing that I'm never going back in that room again. I'll believe it when I say it. But I'll be jerking off in that room every half hour on the half hour <laughs> until moments before she comes home. <laughs> It'll be a race for the clock. <laughs> <laughs> and our balls win. We are not to be trusted. <clears throat> We're not your friends. Friendship doesn't have that kind of sexual tension. Real friendship does not have that. My best friend's name is Dave. <laughs> 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 no one's got a best friend called Dave, I'll be right. <laughs> <laughs> we all know a Dave. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone does. <laughs> Not saying anything. Don't know what you're talking about. If Dave called me at 2 a.m. and was like, dude, let me come by and suck your dick, I'd be like, I'm going to have to say no, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> because we're friends. <laughs> That friendship's real, man. That friendship means something to me. You have to say no. That's real. I know it's real. Because if me and Dave weren't friends, I'd be like, yeah, dude, come over here. <laughs> I'm a liberal dude. He's a good enough looking guy. <laughs> <laughs> then what happens? What happens then? Dave's sucking my dick. He probably gets a boner. I can't let my boy go home with a boner. <laughs> now I have to suck his dick. Now we're sucking each other's dicks. And we're not even gay. Not- oh, God. <laughs> it's like a pub conversation, isn't it? It really is, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Of all the names in the world he picked as well. <laughs> well, it's going to be Dave. It? It's always Dave. Oh, that's funny, man. Uh, Could I rewind on this, Dave? Go for, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's literally like four, four guys sat around the table in the pub, yeah. and, but it's just him yeah. Yeah. doing yeah. all of it. Yeah. Yeah. It's oh, proper funny. Man. 
Gets a boner. I can't let my boy go home with a boner. Now I have to suck his dick. Now we're sucking each other's dicks, and we're not even gay. We're not gay. We're not gay, man. We're not gonna do that for long before we're like, dude, what are we doing? Ugh, what are we doing here? Let's stop wasting time and start plowing some ass. So I, I'm gonna have to let him fuck me for a second. I'm gonna have to lay back with my ankles in the air, knees akimbo, and Dave takes these long rhythmic pounds into my shitter. Please. These long rhythmic pounds into my shitter. I lost you for a second. <laughs> But I'm bigger than Dave, so I'm going to dominate him. I'm going to flip Dave over. Jesus. <laughs> oh, this is oh, funny, man. man it's it? the way you say it. It's funny. <laughs> it's, the, it's that move uh, where he just escalated it, wasn't it? Like, <laughs> yeah. like that was enough and enough's enough. Oh, man. Now he's going to have to fuck with yeah. <laughs> It's proper funny. Oh, man. <laughs> Long rhythmic pounds under my shitter. <laughs> Sweetie. These long rhythmic pounds under my shitter. I thought I lost you for a second. <laughs> but I'm bigger than Dave, so eventually I'm going to want to dominate him. I'm going to flip Dave over. I'm going to start tagging him in his knuckly ass. <laughs> pull out, shoot a couple ropes of friendship across his butt cheeks, and then... <laughs> Collapse my tin sweat covered chest across this spiny and rich back. I know, it sounds like a great night. It sounds fantastic. But I can't cross that line. Because we're friends. Real friends, right? I gotta think about tomorrow when I wanna hang out and play video games with my friend Dave. I can't even look him in the eye because I'm still picking his butt hairs out of my pee hole. <laughs> Not worth it. <laughs> hey, look, you don't have to laugh at that. I'm happy you even sat through it, honestly. <laughs> that is a really tough one to get through. Yeah. Oh, no. I appreciate it. I appreciate you guys not walking out on that one. <laughs> that is tough to hear, front to back. <laughs> You know who really hates hearing that joke? My friend Dave. <laughs> <laughs> it's his least favorite of all my jokes. <laughs> Man, that is very vivid, like, right? <laughs> it just came to me, too. Did I didn't even write it down or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was brilliant. brilliant. That was really good. Absolutely love him. It's just, hey. uh, it's just the way he did it with a straight face. Man, all that is through. funny. That's a real funny oh, bit. That Jaws yeah. killing me. Same fucking my head's like. Oh. Oh. That's the, this, the, the hardest I've seen you laugh in a while. Yeah, yeah. I think at anything that we've that was done. proper funny, wasn't it? That was hilarious. A absolutely brilliant. Jim oh, I've not I've, seen him before. He's a guy that I've seen loads, and I think yeah, it's just been yeah. like on other people's. But not even listen to him necessarily, but just on podcast or on stage with people. Or yeah, I yeah. still think he's on a TV show. Yeah, like uh, I just can't remember him at all. I've been on anything, but yeah, uh, well. he's just too familiar looking. But I've never watched his stand up. Yeah. I've never heard that. That was really, really funny. That's one of the funniest ones I've done yeah, for a long same, time. Yeah, I think. Yeah, it really was. I just love everything brilliant. about that. The story. Yeah. The, the story was class. Yeah, <laughs> great yeah. story. It's yeah. Just his style as well. His delivery, yeah. the ways it's straight face. All it's just. It was about eight minutes as well. Comedy. I think something mm. like that, and it just yeah. flew by. Mm. It, was, it just yeah. felt like nothing. <clears throat> it's so well written, put together. Yeah. The way he said it, just everything about it. Brilliant at me. Funny. Need more of him. Definitely yeah. do more of him. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Hope uh, you guys yeah. enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell. We'll catch you on the next Cheers, one. Cheers, guys. Cheers.